Well guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're working on the truck again. Better video, wrap video. Now, truck video. Make sure you guys are subscribed. You know, that subscribe button down below. Turn the notifications on. Give this video a like. Thank you guys for your support. Um, anyway, um, enough with that. Almost hit my camera with the gimbal. Or my, my camera with the gimbal. My coffee with the gimbal. Um, right now I'm working on getting the box side, the bottom of the doors. So with these doors, um, the driver's side doors, I'm only gonna be painting the bottom part where it's all stone chipped, sanding the stone chips away, priming and painting. Uh, the box sides, I'm gonna be painting the full box sides. So this tailgate's gotta come out, or this tailgate, this uh, taillight's gotta come out. I'm also gonna take the rear bumper off. I'm gonna get this box side painted first. I do need to do a little bit more body work to this one. Um, I think right here, right here, and right here. Need a little bit more sanding and then possibly a little more filler. Probably more filler and right here a little bit more. So, um, but I wanna get that side painted. One of the main reasons I really wanna get this side painted and finished, um, because then this whole side is all one color, all proper color to the truck, paint match to the truck. Then I can take the truck outside, take a side view photo for Dan to do a mock-up for the design for the wrap. Um, he's working on the wrap design right now. It's we've, We're going back and forth a bunch with different things. He said now he's set on something. I pretty much gave Dan full freedom to just, I told him what I base, the base idea of cutting what I wanted, and then he's just doing it down. So he keeps on changing it. It's not my fault. He's changing it, sending me back ideas. I say yay or nay. So, yeah, pretty much I just want to get this side ready right now so I can get it photo to him and then I can finish the other side and then we will get this thing fully painted. So we're gonna go ahead and continue doing this, getting this ready, or we're gonna take the bumper off and then continue sanding this side. I do need to look into yet what is all screwed up on that thing, if I need to buy new brackets or parts or anything. But for right now, it's off. That's what we need. Need the tail laid out yet. That way we can get access to all of this over here. This stuff, because this needs to be sanded and painted too. If we're gonna paint the whole box side, we might as well paint that. Here we go. Lights out. Now I can get this guy or this stuff sanded. I'm Anyway guys, we got more paint today, and uh, oh, now we have, I got two new cans of the uh, white paint, another can of primer, um, also have another full can, so we got three cans of paint, that should be more than enough to do this box side. We're going to go ahead and sand this ugly looking primer job that I did. I just want to prime things, and mainly just the things that were bare, and where all the stone chips were. I sanded most of them out, Primed it. I only had a couple. I have a couple different kinds of primer at the time. Didn't feel like getting more primer yesterday. Got more primer today, just in case we need more for this. But now we'll need more for the doors, and we will need more for the rockers. So that's fine. I got more. We're good. Um, yeah, we're gonna jump right into sanding this. Once this is sanded, we can start laying down some paint.
tape over. So why we didn't really tack down this other edge. You're gonna take some more tape and you're gonna put it like that. And you kind of want to leave a good little round edge here. That Got the truck all masked off now. We're gonna go ahead and start spraying some paint. One can gone, and uh, got the whole thing, one coat, solid coat on the whole truck, or whole box side. I think that's pretty decent. Um, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit, and then I'll come back and see if I need to give it another coat or not. I do have another two cans, so we do have enough to give another coat if we need. Got to keep in mind though, this is very much just to keep it looking good or look decent. For a couple of weeks until we get the wrap design finished and we can get this thing fully wrapped. Well guys, I uh, I did it. I spray bonded my truck. Fully painted with spray paint. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. Um, it'll probably need some wet sanding, seeing as I got a really good run right there. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Not well. Oh, there you go, probably got a glimpse of it. Some really good run right there. That's the worst of the runs. Um, there's a few other minor runs, but the main thing with um, spray can is it's a lot drier, so you have a lot more orange peely texture to it. This doesn't seem too bad, but there is still some, so I might end up having to go over it, wet sanding the whole box side, and then polishing it. Um, I'm not gonna take a lot of time to do it. Mainly, the main thing to me is that it's smooth. So when we put the film on, this panel doesn't look different than, let's say, that door over there, or the hood, or something like that. So, that's it. That's done. Um, yeah, that's about all we got for you guys. A little bit of B-roll sequence of it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. 
And if you guys would pay someone at body shop to do this, or if you guys would do it yourselves too, like I just did here. Um, especially if you guys were doing what I'm doing and just wrapping it very shortly after. But yeah guys, thanks for your support. See you guys in the next one. Peace.